Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to join tonight's European Study Talk. Uh, European Study Talk is a series of online and partially on-site event and sessions that helped our uh, Taiwanese audience and people uh, to identify or find out the programs or school that suit your, uh, their uh, study plan in Europe in the future. And if you are a professional or are you a student currently uh, in management and business, and tonight's session will be yours, uh, uh, your highlights. And we are really pleased to invite uh, two speakers from Otto Bayesian School of Management in Germany. Uh, first of all, we have Paul, uh, who is mainly in charge of a uh, bachelor program, and also Sharon, who is, uh, we will focus on the master program for tonight's presentation. So let's welcome them. And uh, Sharon, floor is yours. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you, Jade, and thank you for having us here um, at the EEFT European Study Talk. Uh, we are happy to present the uh, study programs of WHO Otto Weisheim School of Management, or WHU uh, for short in English. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, kick into the presentation. So um, just to give you guys a little bit of context of where VHU is and what we're all about, um, VHU is a privately funded state accredited business school with a university rank here in Germany. Um, it was actually founded in 1984 in Koblenz, which is actually where I live right now, um, but has since been moved to Fallendar and, uh, and then our second campus is also in Düsseldorf. So Fallendar is actually home to our Bachelor of Science programs that Paul will present in a little bit, the Master of Science programs that I will present later on, and uh, our doctoral programs and also the Kellogg VHU Executive MBA program. Uh, Dusseldorf is home to our MBA program, so we also offer full-time, part-time, and global online MBA um, out of our Dusseldorf campus, and also executive education programs. And of course, they are all um, study programs that are related to business um, and management and finance and so on. Uh, and uh, we, we have full-time options, part-time options, and, and all these different things. But the Bachelor uh, of Science programs and the Master of Science programs are all full-time programs. So just to give you a little context of uh, how, many, how many students we're talking about here at VHU, uh, we have a total of 1,880 enro enrolled students in all of our programs. Um, as you can see here, a huge chunk of them are bachelor students. Uh, we have over 680 bachelor students, and the second largest cohort would be our master of science students. So um, we have about 470 students right now. Um, we also have quite a few um, executive education participants and short term programs and things like that. Uh, we also have a, a very wide network of partner universities worldwide. We have over 220 different partner universities. Um, in, in basically a lot of different countries uh, that we will also elaborate a bit more on later. And uh, we also have a very extensive alumni network uh, where we have over 5,400 members that are currently based in 67 different countries. So for a relatively young business school, VHU does have an extensive network, uh, which is actually one of the reasons why uh, a lot of our students are uh, interested in joining VHU. In terms of accreditation and rankings, since we're, we are talking about a business school, you know, the rankings and the accreditation statuses are also very, very important that needs to be considered. Uh, we are triple accredited by ACSB, Equis, N. We have systems accreditation with FIBA A, which means we are able to also um, accreditate our own programs. Uh, and in terms of rankings, we do uh, perform pretty well uh, consistently through, throughout the years. Um, with top rankings in Germany and in Europe for um, our master and ma master of science programs and also our full time MBA programs. And in terms of different connections and things like that, VHU is very, very well known here in Germany and in Europe for having a very tight network of um, different partner companies. We have over, around 160 different partner companies, which range from small and medium sized companies to very, very large companies, uh, of some of which you see here. 
Um, and in general, our career center is also very, very active in, and they take a very active role in making sure all of our students, no matter if they're in the bachelor program or the master's programs, are um, able to realize their career goals one way or another. Uh, because, you know, the whole professional development uh, part of it is also very much ingrained into our study programs. So they, they do a lot of individual counseling in addition to organizing a lot of different events uh, for different companies to come and recruit our students. Um, and they also have major career fairs uh, each year. So uh, there's always a lot of different opportunities for our students to get face time with uh, company recruiters and alumni who uh, are maybe working in those companies already as hiring managers. And entrepreneurship is another thing that is also very, very uh, big here at VHU. Um, there's a lot of, especially for people who are really interested in, you know, potentially founding their own business in the future. Um, the VHU Entrepreneurship Network is pretty well known here in Germany and in Europe as well. Uh, we have two different entrepreneurship programs and also one entre entrepreneurship center. So if you're the type of person, no matter what program you're interested in, if you're the type of person who's really interested in starting your own business in the future, this is a great network to have. Um, Around 700 startups have been founded by VHU graduates so far in our history, and 14 of those startups are now have, have now achieved unicorn status. Um, and uh, our MBA program, for example, is also very, very much well known for being a very entrepreneurial program. Uh, and we also have eight different student clubs at VHU just focused on entrepreneurship itself. So, um, you know, it, it, no matter what program you're interested in, there's always that option as well, especially if you're interested in founding your own business. These are just four, these are 14 of the different um, startups that are the most successful or that have achieved unicorn status. Um, maybe you're already familiar with um, some of these names like Zalando or um, HelloFresh. Uh, they, they are actually, so Zalando is a big um, e-commerce company where uh, you can, you know, buy all sorts of clothes and so on from, from that platform, whereas HelloFresh is sort of, um, um, they, they will um, deliver meal kits for you so that you can cook at home, but all the ingredients are um, already measured out into the, num the right number of portions so that you, you don't uh, waste so much food. Uh, Flixbus is also a big uh, company here in Europe, uh, which offers a lot of different um, bus routes for going from place to place. So it's actually very popular amongst the student body uh, or, or among students who want to travel from place to place here in Europe cheaply. So there are a lot of, um, there are also a lot of these unicorns that also um, uh, actively recruit our VHU students for internship positions and also full-time positions after they graduate. So I'm now gonna hand over to uh, my colleague, Paul, who will uh, present the bachelor programs. Yes, thanks very much, Sharon. Um, yeah, hi everybody, I'm Paul. It's great to be here today and to present to you um, the Bachelor of Science programs that we offer here at Viha So uh, we actually offer two programs. Um, um, yeah, we, we offer two programs here at Viha um, The first one is our Bachelor in International Business Administration. Um, so this is um, a Bachelor of Science degree um, its main focus is international management, um, and as a bachelor's degree, it, it has a duration of six semesters, so that goes over three years, and you can study this bachelor's degree um, completely in English. There is also an option to study, um, to study the degree bilingually, so in English and German. Um, and uh, as, as Sharon mentioned before, um, our Bachelor of uh, Science programs are located in Fallendar, on our campus in Fallendar. But of course, um, part of our um, uh, Bachelor programs is um, the uh, semester abroad. So this is a very part of, a uh, very important part of, of the programs, um, allowing, allowing our students to get international um, experience and international exposure. Um, and to go and study for a whole semester at one of our partner universities. So we actually have uh, currently 220 partner universities. So it's possible to, to choose a particular partner university to go for your um, exchange semester. In each of our programs, we also, so, so there are two internships that are included in the program. Um, at least one of these internships is done abroad. Um, both of them can be done abroad as well, um, giving you um, further opportunities to gain international experience. 
so we can have a look at the curriculum now of um, this of this uh, degree. So the Bachelor in International Business Administration. Um, as you can see in the first um, three semesters, you have the the core modules of business and economics. So courses, it's it's actually quite small to read, but I'll read out a few examples. Um, courses like um, Introduction to Business Administration, Financial Accounting, Marketing and Sales, um, Operations and Logistics Management. Um, all of the things that you need um, for the foundations of a business studies degree. Um, we also have quantitative methods, so that's mathematics and statistics, the foundations of law. There is also um, a foreign language component. Um, so every student will study a foreign language. For, for many of them, this will be uh, business English, but we also offer um, French, Spanish, Mandarin, Chinese, um, and uh, Japanese, I think Italian as well. So there is a selection of foreign languages to choose from. In the fourth and fifth semesters, we see, uh, for example, our concentration modules. So these are elective modules, um, giving our students a bit of free choice um, to, to go a little, dive a little bit further into areas that they're interested in. Here we have some examples such as creating social value, international finance, brand and services, marketing. Um, and there are some others there as well. Also data analysis and management, a general studies component. So this is actually um, a module or a set of modules which um, allow you to study something a little bit outside of, of, of the business world, so to speak. Um, topics like biotechnology, um, the history of Germany, uh, fun and games, which is about game theory, um, or coding boot camps, web development, and such things like this. As you can see, we also have the, the semester abroad in the fourth of this semester. Um, in the final semester, we have some more core modules, um, a module on ethics and sustainability, and then the bachelor thesis. So in total, as I said, six semesters, 180 credit points. Um, there are additional courses, um, a business course, which is taught um, in Thailand and in entirely in German. Uh, but for those of you who don't speak German, there are other additional courses, uh, for example, further language um, courses. So uh, we can go to the next degree. Thank you, Sharon. Um, the Bachelor in Business Psychology. So this is actually a new bachelor's program at BHU. It will be beginning in September um, next year. It's also a Bachelor of Science degree. The main focus, well, it's, it's, there, are, there are sort of two focuses of study. Um, it's a combination of organizational psychology and international management. Once again, six semesters. Um, this degree is taught purely in English. It's uh, also located on our um, Valandar campus. Um, and includes the semester abroad and the two internships. So we can look at the curriculum for this degree. Yeah, so here we, we actually see the, the core modules of business and economics and the core modules of psychology. So um, for those of you interested in a bachelor's degree um, at VHA who are interested not only in business, but also um, the human side of business, um, this degree could be very interesting for you. Um, because as, as I said, it combines the fundamentals of, of both these areas. So we see here um, core modules of psychology, such as um, motivational and cognitive psychology, social, social psychology, organizational behavior, psychological diagnostics, um, and psychological research methods, for example. Um, we also have the foundations of law and statistics, again, um, also the foreign language component, as in the, um, our other degree. Um, so the structure is actually quite similar. Um, the main difference is that you have um, those core modules, those, those foundation courses in psychology, and also in the concentration or the elective modules, um, there will be other uh, modules that you can choose from, which come under um, work and you know, organizational psychology, business psychology. Here's some examples. Um, managing diversity and change, marketing, communication, and consumer psychology. Then also in the fourth of this uh, semester, there is a psychological research project. Once again, the general studies component, um, the semester abroad, and um, then some further seminars and um, the bachelor thesis at the end. Um, so our bachelor students, um, they will be, um, sharing a lot of classes so to speak so if you if you are um, uh, we, we have about um, well we have 240 uh, new bachelor students that come and join us each year 
Um, the start of studies is always in September of each year. And um, those who study completely in English and those who study the bilingual track also um, have some shared courses. And those who will be studying our new bachelor in business psychology course will also have shared courses. So you will get to know the whole cohort. Um, and uh, yeah, we're hoping to, to have um, about 40 um, in our bachelor in business psychology and about 200 um, new students for our bachelor in business administration. So uh, when you apply for our bachelor programs, um, you, when you apply for one of them and you are successful in that application process, you actually qualify for the other. So it is possible to change your mind later, um, but you are asked to choose which one you prefer at the beginning as the um, application or admission processes are slightly different. But for both programs, um, the admission requirements are as follows. Um, we have an online um, application portal on our website, which is currently open for next year's intake and you upload your CV, a letter of motivation, your secondary school diploma, um, and this needs to meet the requirements for studying in, German, in Germany. So uh, for example, there's the um, German Abitur, which is the national um, German school diploma, but of course we accept A-levels, the IB diploma, and other national diplomas as well. Um, if you're ever unsure, you can always send us your um, school grades and we can check for you. Um, another important um, requirement is the, um, well, your English language skills, essentially. So as um, the whole course, or at least most of the course is taught in English, we require um, either a TOEFL certificate, IELTS certificate, or Cambridge certificate. And you can see the minimum scores here. If you have a secondary school diploma from an English speaking school, such as um, an IAB diploma or um, the American high school diploma, then you would be exempt from these. Um, you, you wouldn't need to also provide um, an English test certificate. Another important requirement, practical experience. So um, this is essentially um, a business internship or an apprenticeship amounting to a total of six weeks. Um, the internships can also be completed after the application up until the beginning of studies. So basically what we require um, is until the end of May, at the latest is um, uh, some sort of proof, um, a letter of proof that you have um, um, secured an internship uh, or have already done a, an internship, but the actual internship can be also done um, after the application and before the beginning of studies. If you have any questions about the admission requirements, um, the application process, um, or your, your English test, trouble organizing an internship, anything like that, or just any other questions about our bachelor's programs, you're um, very much welcome to contact the VHART Will Bachelor team. Yeah, I think we have our details um, at the end of the presentation. If not, I can tell you again in, in the Q&A session. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything from me today. So I'll um, hand over back to Sharon. Um, thank you very much. And I look forward to the Q&A session. Thank you, Paul. Uh, so now we will dive into our Master of Science programs. Okay, so um, we offer a total of four different Master of Science programs, uh, all of which um, are more or less 21 months, uh, except Master in Entrepreneurship and Master in uh, Finance, which also offer shorter tracks, which are 17 months long. Um, I will elaborate on that a little bit later. Um, so our Master in Management and Master in International Business are both general management programs. Uh, so the focus is, you know, of course, general management, but the di main difference between the two programs is that the Master in Management is for uh, candidates who've studied business administration or economics, uh, whereas the Master in International Business is more tailored for um, candidates who've had like a business minor when they were doing business engineering, maybe business psychology, um, or uh, some people have done industrial engineering as well, where there's a lot of engineering components, but also like a minor component in business, so or hospitality management. So these are the two um, general management degrees we offer. Um, and the Master in Entrepreneurship and Master in Finance are, are more specialized programs that are um, focused on you know, entrepreneurship and innovation or finance. Um, basically, with uh, all four of our programs, we also 
require proof of English proficiency as all of them are taught 100% in English. So we actually don't offer a bilingual track uh, in, in at the master's level. It's all taught in English. So we also accept TOEFL or IELTS um, with a slightly higher minimum requirement of 100 for the TOEFL and 7.0 for the IELTS. Um, and in general, all four of our programs require um, at least some level of practical experience. So at this level, what we mean by practical experience is um, basically an internship. Uh, we count full-time hours here. So if, we, if you've been doing um, part-time uh, student jobs or um, part-time internships, then we will count it as full-time hours. But generally, you need at least 12 weeks uh, of practical experience. On average, our, most of our candidates come with at least five or six months of um, internship experience, so we do recommend that. Um, and for the master's in management and master in international business, we're looking for people with no more than two years of postgraduate work experience, because um, all of our master's programs are meant for um, candidates who don't actually have a lot of work experience because it's um, these are pre-experienced programs. Whereas with Master in Entrepreneurship and Master in Finance, we are able to have uh, candidates with up to four years of experience, just because those are more specialized and you know we tend to have uh, some more candidates with a bit more work experience in those programs. And uh, of course, the, the last bit that's really important is that with Master in Management, Master in International Business and Master in Finance, we require the GMAT or the GRE or the German version of uh, those tests, which is the TM base. Um, and, you know, basically we don't really have any real preference as we accept all three, but of course, being a business school, we get more um, GMAT scores from most candidates, whereas for the master in entrepreneurship, we require a pitch deck um, because, you know, you, we want to see what your business ideas are like. Uh, and of course, international experience is always a good thing um, for, for our programs, but of course, um, this is more of a hard requirement for our German speaking candidates, but you guys are all international students, so I'm sure this would not be a problem for you guys. <laughs> so going into the actual curriculum, um, Master in Management uh, is a 21 month full time program. I'm going to spend a little more time on this particular slide because the, the basically the academic structure for all of our master's programs are more or less similar. So in the in the first year um, from September until uh, something like the end of May, that is your main academic year when you would be taking all the courses at VHU. Um, so in, in the instance of the master in management, uh, this is actually the most flexible uh, master's program we have, I would say, because um, all the core electives um, and all the electives, like basically all the students get to pretty much pick and choose which courses they want to uh, take. Um, and the way the elective system works is that there are six different core areas. So uh, you will see that under the six core electives. So accounting and finance, data analytics, economics, et cetera. And each area has at least th uh, has around three different courses that you could choose from. So under accounting and finance, there are three different courses. You get to pick exactly which one you want. Um, under data analytics, it's also the same, three different selections, you can pick which one you want and so on. Um, and then of course, on top of that, you'll also have to take six different electives. Um, and there are 45 different courses to choose from. And uh, for those who are interested in a bit more concentration in, you know, or because it's a very general, like broad general management program. So if you're looking for that kind of experience, that's also great. You can pick a lot of different electives. But if you're also looking to specialize a little bit in one of these areas, we offer different eight different concentration areas that are listed here, like business analytics, leadership, strategy, supply chain. So that just means that you pick um, more courses um, to to create a, your own concentration. So you can have a master in management with a concentration in strategy or innovation or whatever you're looking for. Um, and then after the first year during the summer, you have to do a mandatory internship of at least six weeks. Of course, uh, our students try to, you know, um, sort of uh, arrange their internships uh, at, depending on what when their semester abroad starts, uh, because you also basically the next fall, um, after the summer, you have the semester abroad and then the master's thesis. So that's actually the second year when um, most of our students would be abroad or just not even in Vandar at all. So you actually only really spend one, one year in Vandar. 
Um, the semester abroad has, we have a lot of different options. We have over 200 different partner universities for you to choose from. So, you know, basically um, the semester abroad is managed, it's also mandatory. Um, and then of course, after your semester abroad, you, a lot of students maybe even return to Germany or go home and do their master's thesis from abroad. So it's actually not mandatory um, for students to be here in Valendar to do their master's thesis. So moving on to the master in international business. Oh, sorry. Um, I also wanted to show you guys a little bit about like uh, where our um, alumni go because that's also a very common question that we get. So with the master in management, a lot of our um, graduates do go into consulting. So VHU is actually pretty well known for our consulting connections and also uh, our company connections. And a lot of them are actually very specifically interested in uh, consulting, so they are there. But as you can see here, a lot of them actually still go into industry and services and banking and finance. Um, some of them also do become founders, so sort of reiterating, you know, the kind of entrepreneurial environment we have. And some also continue on to do their PhD or even work in startups and e-commerce. So there's a lot of different career paths. Um, as we go into the other programs, you might also notice that there are different um, career paths depending on what program you're choosing. So with the Master in International Business is actually our um, newest Master of Science uh, program that we've added to our master, master portfolio. This is different because, be, because it's uh, tailored for people who didn't major in a business uh, degree. So, um, because you have, so then it's more structured and there we have nine different courses that are already mandatory that everyone that is enrolled in the Master in International Business uh, program has to take. And of course there are still um, three electives that students can choose um, out of a portfolio of 22 different electives. And we've actually listed some of the um, electives that are possible for, for you to pick um, right down here, like luxury brand management or wet mining or visual prototyping, like just depends on what you're really interested in. And uh, like the master in management, there's also a mandatory internship and mandatory semester abroad and the master's thesis as well. So the master in international business also has the same number of selection of, um, you know, partner universities to choose from. So coming to the master in entrepreneurship, um, I will stay a little bit more here as well, because this is slightly now different. Um, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, there are two different tracks uh, for the specialized programs like master in entrepreneurship and master in finance. What I mean by that is that um, we have the normal 21 month track, which is 120 ECTS, but we also offer a slightly shorter track, which is um, 90 ECTS, which is basically three semesters or 17 months. So um, as students or candidates, you can choose which, whichever track um, is best for you or whichever track fits you best. Um, but in general, the first academic year is basically the same, where everyone has to come to Fandar to take courses. The main difference between the shorter track and the longer track is that because the shorter track doesn't have the mandatory semester abroad, so that you get international experience, we have an international capstone module, um, which is about a week of uh, company visits and tailor-made lectures abroad. So in the past, the Master in Entrepreneurship has gone to Boulder, Colorado um, for their capstone module. Um, and the destination varies from year to year. Um, and uh, in terms of the actual program, the, the entrepreneurship program, it is actually the first master of science program in on specifically about entrepreneurship in Germany. Um, and as you can see here, it's a very hands-on program. So of course it has the five core modules, but you also get to pick seven different electives. And the elective, some of the electives are listed down here. So especially if you're really, really interested in um, you know, starting your own business or, or running a family business or even becoming a venture capital, uh, working in venture capital, you, you have a lot of different uh, courses that you can pick from. So where the students go after varies here, as you can see, um, a lot of our graduates do become founders. Um, some of the people who apply to our Master in Entrepreneurship program are already founders when they apply. Of course, that's not a requirement, but a lot of them do become entrepreneurs. Um, a small percentage of them also go into different startups and online businesses, uh, continue their education, or even go into industry and services. But the Entrepreneurship program also offers a lot of different um, 
career paths. Just because you're in the entrepreneurship program also does not mean that you can't uh, work in a corporate setting, because at least here in Germany, there's a growing number of corporations and big companies that are looking for people with an entrepreneurial background, because more or less these are people who are more creative and, you know, would able would be able to um, transform uh, the, the corporations in, in a, and provide a different perspective. So there are also a growing number of demand for um, people with an entrepreneurial background. Um, and coming to our last Master of Science program, uh, the Master in Finance. Uh, so like I said, it also offers two different tracks. So with the Master in Finance, the capstone modules in the past have been New York City and London. So they also have different uh, destinations that they go to each year. The study program structure is more or less the same as the Master in Entrepreneurship in terms of the scheduling. Um, you know, like, like all the other programs you do the first year, um, on, on campus in Falandar, uh, but of course the, the core modules and the electives are different. So the Master in Finance is also a very highly flexible pro program with only three different um, core modules that are required and you, you get to choose basically nine out of 37 different electives. Um, some of these electives are listed down here. It is very, very um, very, very focused on finance. So I do tend to see a lot of um, candidates who are interested in pursuing a career path in finance afterwards, you know, enrolling in the master in finance program. So just to put that in perspective, these are, um, th this is basically where all of our graduates go. Uh, about two, th almost two thirds of them actually do end up in banking and finance, as you can see, because it's a very, very specialized program. But still a lot, there are, you know, some people who do end up in industry and services and consulting, because those are also businesses who do require people with a finance background. Um, and some of them also end up in startups and online businesses or continue their education. So there's still also a lot of different paths. But of course, the finance program is very, very specialized as well. So just to give you an idea of the network, of, of course, we've uh, talked about this uh, in terms of semester abroad, we have over 200 different partner universities, but for the master's degree, uh, we also have a lot of different double degree partner universities. Um, so the partners uh, listed in orange, uh, Washington University in St. Louis or Olin Business School and Politecnico di Milano, they are offering very specific part, uh, special double degree programs that are um, sub subject specific. So we have a co cooperation with Olin for the Master in Finance, um, where it's a double degree program in finance. And then with Politecnico di Milano, it's a double degree program specifically for entrepreneurship students. All the other programs that uh, all the other universities that we have here, like University of Alberta, York, Emory, Tulane, etc., they are all um, part of our wider double degree network where if you are interested, um, you would basically be then spending two semesters at the um, partner university instead of only one, and you will earn a second degree on top of your master of science degree at VHU. Um, depending on where you go in terms of the second degree, it would be MBA for any all the partner universities outside of Europe. And for Ecole de Management de Lyon and Catholica Lisbon, those are our partners that are awarding a second master of science degree. So if you guys have more questions about it, I'm welcome to, I'm happy to address them during the Q&A, but otherwise this is basically the end of our presentation. Um, and I have the slide here so that you guys can get in touch with us. Uh, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Paul, to uh, introduce uh, the Behaou tonight. Now let's welcome the questions from our audience. And just in case you might have uh, like personal, you would like to personally consult to the a school, you have the contact information, either email, which would be better for you to contact them. Uh, yeah, you mentioned like the four main program, uh, pro program of master require like 12 weeks of practical experience, such as internship. Mm -hmm. uh, so those experience should be related to the subject they are going to apply for, or could it be that like, all kind of like internship or part-time job? Yeah, so um, that, that's a good question. Thank you. Um, so basically, yes, they do have to be business related. So um, 
I mean, it depends on which exact part um, master's program you're interested in. But yes, we do tend to have, for example, if you're interested in finance, that the, the candidates usually have um, a few months of internship experience in a finance related role. So it doesn't, while it does not have to be at a consulting firm or an accounting firm, because I mean, every company in the world, no matter what industry they are in, they have a finance department, right? So right. If, if, if you have, it's, it's more about the role itself more than mm -hmm. where you do it. So um, it would be good uh, to have um, all, the relevant practical experience yes we do look for relevance you know uh, with business and management I think there's a, a I, maybe there's a bit bigger variety um, so if you're interested in like business management and so on you know there's HR there's sales there's marketing right. um, there's uh, all these different um, or business analytics you know so mm -hmm. all these different departments so um, yeah th those would also work um, with entrepreneurship um some some come you know having experience or having done internships in like startups or online businesses some mm -hmm. come from uh, a family where they have like a family business so right. that also counts uh, or if you know like if you if you founded your own business that also counts as experience so you know it depends on the program i see yeah there's mm -hmm. some like uh, startup or some company might look for like campus ambassador which might yeah. also count, like uh, I, one, yeah, they, they they are recruiting like campus ambassador or say school ambassador or university ambassador, uh -huh. which will help the brand or company to either uh, promote their own products or brands or events and so on. Do you think that counts this kind of experience? Uh, not really. We're looking for you know like like actual hardcore um business experience um i mean of course those are things that are good to have i mean they, they would more count as extracurriculars as opposed to mm -hmm. um a, a practical experience because we're for practical experience we're looking for full-time you know like kind of like a job but only for right. a few months type of experience yeah professional experience more or less a pr professional ex i mean maybe it's a little bit different in taiwan but um he you know in europe it's uh it's like you can do an internship at a company and then it's like right. basically you're working full-time for a few months um and then and then uh yeah and then that's that's the in, that's what an internship is so we're we're more more or less looking for that but some students also maybe have like part-time jobs so right. Um, like if you have like a part-time consulting job at a company where you're like one of the, I don't know, students doing business data analytics or whatever, um, but then you do it on a part-time basis, then we would count it as full-time. But you're always more than more than welcome to send us a copy of your CV so that we can check it as well before you do the whole application process. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so yeah, I think the second one, uh, it's a very... I, I can read I can read the questions here. I can see the box here. Um, so the second question that I got here was, are master students allowed to take part-time job or internships the same when they're in courses? Technically, as an international student, you can actually um, work part-time. Uh, it is legal to have a part-time job, although we don't recommend it at VHU for the master programs because the programs are very rigorous and it's full-time and um, basically, even after you're done with courses, you still have to do all these career related events, right? Like there's right. companies that are coming to recruit, there's, you, you got to meet the recruiters, you got to attend the workshops, you got to talk to the career center, and eat. all of that takes a lot of time. So, I mean, it's all about time management at the end of the day. So if you do find a part-time job or something that you might want to be in, of course, you know, there are students that are, that have part-time jobs, but we generally don't recommend it because it is very rigorous. Um, and then how possible is an international student to find a job in Germany with your school? Uh, I mean, with international students, um, our career center does um, basically, you know, all they, they, they do individual counseling. So it depends on what you're interested in, which company you want to go into, what kind of field you want to go into, but you do get realistic advice. Um, a lot of that sometimes also, you know, is, is based on how proficient you are in German. So for example, consulting in Germany, you have to speak German, basically. You have to have C1 level German. There's no ifs and buts about it. It's just how it is. 
Um, but whereas like uh, startups and online businesses, for example, they tend to be a lot more cosmopolitan with a lot of um, international colleagues. So you might be able to get away with limited proficiency in German, but um, you know, VHU does offer German classes um, for, and especially for international students, you, you guys have to more or less take them. Um, although of course, you know, how proficient you get is really up to you and how much work you put into it. Um, but there are, a lot, there are like all our international students do land somewhere. It's just that it's a slightly different process for um, international students. Um, is there early bird tuition and financial aid? Yes. Um, if you apply by January 15th, 2022 with a complete application and also um, with all the supporting documents, like your TOEFL scores, your, your GMAT scores and all the transcripts and stuff. If you submit everything by um, January 15th to 2022 for the fall 2022 intake, then uh, you would be qualified for a small um, early bird tuition reduction. Um, it's around 10% of one semester tuition fee. Um, in general, we also do offer scholarships. We don't offer any need-based financial aid, but we do offer scholarships based on merit. Um, so there's a lot of different um, options that you could apply for, depending on what your program you're looking to apply to. Of course. Yeah. All right. Um, um, SM preparatory, uh, I think it's preparatory school or preparatory program. Something. Not like for the master's program. I don't know about the bachelor programs, Paul. No, no. So there's no preparatory. There is a preparatory maths uh, or mathematics course, um, and we recommend all our students to do that. And that is is about one week, maybe two weeks, and possibly um, English next year. Um, mm -hmm. But um, apart from that, there are no other courses. Yeah, we we don't offer any prep courses for the master's programs either. Um, either the uh, German, I think it's called. Uh, student college. Yeah, we don't have student college at VHU. <laughs> what they're asking for. Yeah. Right. There's another question it's asking for. Uh, applying for a master's degree uh, in your school. Is there a restriction, restriction for uh, non relevant for student with no relevant academic background diploma? I think so, it will be MIB. It, it really depends on the program. Um, with master in management, it, it, the, the student has to have a business administration degree or, or a business administration major. Um, it's, not, it's not so much about the school itself, but just the major you, like the, 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 the subject you majored in. Mm -hmm. So if you study, if you majored in like, I don't know, commerce, business administration, economics, um, business management, any any business related field, um, you could be eligible for the master in management. But um, but the thing is, it depends on which program you are interested in. So with master in international business, that's uh, that's also that that's actually it's actually fine if you're not a business major. That is actually the program that is tailored for non business majors. But you still do need um, a minor's worth of business right. courses. So you, we, we don't have um, non-consecutive master's programs at VHU, so you still need a little foundation, but the requirements are you know, less than the master in management. With right. master in finance and master in entrepreneurship, we also have students from a STEM background, or um, even with master in entrepreneurship, we also have students from an arts background. So uh, you know, th it depends on which program you're, you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, if the student can specify his own background, then it's probably easier for you to answer. Yeah, yeah. That that's why um that's why you're always more than welcome to get in touch with us um and also send a copy of your CV. Uh, we do CV checks uh, before you go through the application process, um and we we also you know advise you on your eligibility and things like that. So you're always more than welcome to get in touch with us. Yeah, would you, would you suggest the uh, the students or audience to probably consult to a shorter program contact person on the screen here, or would you suggest them to probably contact the program they are interested in? For example, like a uh, master in entrepreneurship or master yeah. in uh, international business. 
Yeah, so it's it's not too like um, the Bachelor of Science programs and the Master of Science programs are two separate departments. So of course, if you're interested in the 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 Bachelor in International Business Administration or Bachelor in Business Psychology, it's best if you guys reach out directly to the Bachelor program. Mm -hmm. For the Masters, we are we are one department, so we we offer four different programs, but we don't have a separate person for each program. So right. you're more than welcome to just contact us at master at bhu.edu. Um, and we we're happy to do CV checks. And of course, uh, please feel free to, you know, include all the other questions that you might have about the program. Well, if we don't have any more questions from our audience, well, no worries. Uh, you have the contact information on the screen here. Just make sure you have a screenshot or you can just write it down. Uh, when you're preparing for your document to apply for uh, BHU and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact um, uh, the school. So thank you, Paul, and thank you, Sharon, for you. Um, bringing us the presentation of Beha U. Uh, hopefully, we will have more and more Taiwanese students with you uh, from the next semester, next academic year. Thank you very much, Jade, for having us. <laughs> thank you for joining us. I hope to see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye.